Hello everyone! I've counted the votes, and the card you wanted me to talk about most is Bolvar for Dragon. Come on, power! Let's begin, shall we? High Lord Bolvar for Dragon is a true hero of the Alliance, and to understand his story, we'll have to talk a little bit about Varian and the Black Dragon Onyxia. She was sent by her father to mess up things in the Kingdom of Stormwind, and under the disguise of Lady Katrana Prestor, she infiltrated Stormwind and had the Defiance Brotherhood kidnap Varian. She planned to split Varian into two, one weak-willed Varian, which she would use as a puppet to rule the kingdom from behind the curtains, and one embodying his will, which she would simply kill. Just as she had split Varian into two beings and was planning to make her strike, the Nine Naga attacked. This allowed the strong-willed Varian to jump into the ocean and make his escape, while the weak-willed Varian would be taken by the Naga and later ransomed back to Stormwind. With Varian away, someone had to rule the kingdom of course, which fell on the young shoulders of Prince Anduin Rin. But thankfully, he had people like Bolvar Fordranger to back him up and help him rule the kingdom. The weak-willed Varian, he was ransomed back to Stormwind, and Bolvar noticed that his king was simply not the same. This Varian seemed enchanted by Lady Prestor, so Bolvar, he sent out Marshal Reginald Windsor to investigate a lead that might explain the king's behavior. Windsor eventually discovered Onyxia's secrets, but he was captured by the Dark Island Dwarves before he could make his report. We were the ones in-game who saved his life, brought him back to Stormwind, but in the comics, it was actually the strong-willed Varian who survived his escape and he eventually started to make his way back home. His party liberated Windsor, they revealed that Prester was actually Onyxia. Onyxia burned Windsor to a crisp, she kidnapped Anduin and took him back all the way to her lair. Bolvar was left in charge, as both variants, including their allies, they went to Onyxia's own lair to save Anduin, and thankfully they were able to take her out, and in the process turn Varian into one single person. Now the next time the Bolvar plays a part is during Wrath the Lich King. He is the one leading the Alliance forces into the cold heart of Northrend itself to take the battle to Arvis the Lich King. He even defeated the Lich Fels on the Duskbringer, but then tragedy struck. At the Wrath Gate, Grand Apothecary Putris, he betrayed Sylvanas and the Horde, and he unleashed the Develop Plague upon not only the Lich King, but also the Alliance and the Horde. Both sides suffered incredible losses that day. Bolvar thought that this was going to be the end, but the Red Dragonflight they show up and the brief cleansing flame across the battlefield. Naturally, tensions ran high between the Alliance and the Horde after this moment, but Bolvar wasn't quite dead yet. The Red Dragons actually knew that he was still alive, yet Alexstrasza, she told Cressus that we could not discover the fate of the young paladin, not quite yet. What was his fate, you might ask? That is to be taken by the Lich King. <laughs> The other that was broken that they're talking about, that was Dranosh Sourfang, another who had fallen to the Wrath Gate and had been turned into a Death Knight. Bolvar was able to resist, and as we marched into Icecrown itself, we found out that he was still alive, we made our way all the way to the top, and upon the Lich King's defeat, we also found out that there must always be a Lich King. Tyrion Fordring was about to place the Helm of Domination upon his head, but Bolvar stopped him, letting him know that this was not his destiny. The Dragon's Flame sealed my fate. The world of the living can no longer comfort me. Bolvar took on the grim destiny of being Jailer of the Damned, for there must always be a Lich King, while he told everyone to not say a word about what had happened here today. Tell them only that the Lich King is dead, and that Bolvar Fall Dragon died with him. Now go, leave this place. And never return. For several years, Bolvar was left alone on the frozen throne, and according to his card description, he got melted, he sits on an ice throne, and everyone simply forgot about him. But that's not exactly what happened. With Legion, Bolvar the Lich King has made his way back into the story as an ally of the Death Knights. He has offered his allegiance to the Knights of the Ebon Blade, where in return for our assistance, he will keep the Scourge confined to Northrend, and on top of that, also offer aid in obtaining powerful weapons, powerful enough to end the Legion once and for all. Death Knights are pointed toward these powerful artifacts, which they will wield in the war against the Legion, while they also gain the power to make their very own horsemen. Fire Mages also deal a little bit with Bolvar, as Felamalorn is actually picked up within Ice Crown. Now time will tell if Bolvar will play a role in the next chapter of the Order Hall campaign, or perhaps in a future expansion, but his story is very much open for speculation. With the Helm of Domination on his head, who exactly are we dealing with here? Is it the Paladin that surrendered his life for the safety of the world, or is it more the Dark Force of the Lich King, pushing events for his own schemes and benefits? You believe that you are in control, that 
that your will is your own. Yet you do as he commands. His power in Hearthstone only grows whenever a friendly minion dies while he's in your hands. A hint perhaps above our manipulating us, sending us to our deaths so his power and his army of the undead can grow? He was in the hands of Arthas for quite some time, and even Yaxharan seems to have some sort of influence on the events. Who knows how this is going to play out, but I really really hope that we'll see more of Bolvar the Lich King in the future. If you want more details on the whole Lich King story arc, check out the linked video since it's quite a big story. For now though, that's where we'll end Bolvar's story. So as always, I'll leave it up to you guys to go to decide what card we're going to talk about next. So leave your suggestions in the comments down below and who knows, your card might be used in the next video. Subscribe if you like my videos, leave a like if you enjoyed this one and until next time guys, see ya!